Welcome to the first edition of uh, Code Beam Stockholm. This is the 20th anniversary of you know, Erlang being Greece's open source. And you know, those who've been around for quite a while have seen this event growing. It used to be the Erlang User Conference. And I think you know, this evolution has kept on going. It's now become a conference on you know, the whole Erlang ecosystem. So we're here in Erlang Valley, which is uh, in, in Stockholm. At the Code Beam Conference. At the Code Beam Conference, yes. 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 And one more thing, have to get this in. What? Erlang Open Source is turning 20 years today. Um, and before that, it was an Ericsson uh, language and, and operating system uh, specifically designed for telecommunications and, and uh, high transaction volumes. About 90% of all internet traffic goes through nodes controlled by, in effect, Erlang code. My name is Sonny Scroggin, and uh, I have been uh, involved in the Elixir community, I guess, for going on f like four and a half years. The conference today overall has been amazing. Um, I think the talks have all been really incredible. The speakers put a lot of thought and energy, having a really good experience so far. Uh, and you also wrote the first Haskell compiler, and then you've worked with the uh, parallelism for Berlang, and yes. now you're into put taming robots with type systems. Yes, uh, amongst other things. Amongst other amongst things. Other things. I found really inspiring that there are other people that are also investing their time and their energy in building new tools and new languages on the beam. So what Erlang did here is that not only reduced um, impact of failure, but it's, uh, it also mitigated it. One thing I found inspiring overall is just the, the great diversity of people who are here, different countries, different races, backgrounds, and just seeing them be able to contribute to the Erlang community and the Elixir community. The great saying is that we stand on the shoulders of giants, and I think that for me Erlang is the giant on whose shoulders I stand. It's really, really exciting to see how you know, they're all getting along, sharing ideas and learning from each other. It's wonderful to see the younger ones joining in and learning using Erlang, using Elixir, and it feels that the the generations are rolling and the community is growing and that's just lots of fun.